Hello and welcome to another brief demonstration of new features coming up in the Mars release of the Eclipse Papyrus project. Today we'll have a look at synchronization of UMLRT diagrams. By way of example, we'll look at the state machine diagram for a capsule in which a capsule extending or specializing another capsule has a state machine that redefines the inherited state machine. So what we want to do is we want to synchronize the state machine semantics and visualization. So we start by creating a state machine diagram in the parent capsule. There it is. There's a state machine with the initial region, and we see already that the, so the specializing capsule has created also a state machine with that region. So let's give this some kind of name, I don't know, something like that. And we see changes are synchronized in the specializing capsule. Now let's also create a diagram on this one. So we'll create a new state machine diagram for that. And there we see the diagram. Okay, so various aspects of the visualization are synchronized, including things like the size of the state machine frame. So to make the demonstration go a little smoother, let's look at both at the same time. And let's start adding some contents. So there's an initial node. We can create a state. We'll get synchronized over there. We can create a transition. So we see all these things being added to both the semantics and, of course, the visualization in the subcapsule. We can do more. We can add regions. And we can put state in there. Now let's do something interesting. Let's make that a composite state by adding a state inside, like so. That's cool. Uh, it's bigger than I need it to be. So why don't we shrink that a bit? Move it up here. That's good. So you see all of the notation changes are being synchronized over there. So let's create a transition like so. And finally we can just top things off like that. Whatever, I am i don't know the meaning of state machines. So that's cool. Now the purpose of redefining the state machine in the subcapsule is that we might want to introduce uh, some additional states and things. So why don't we do that? So this is a state that doesn't exist in the uh, parent state machine, and that's okay. We'll take this and we'll actually redirect that over here to add this, these additional transitions to get from here over to here. So there you have it, a brief look at UMLRT diagram synchronization. Thank you.